Hey, what's good everybody? How y'all doing today? I got another unboxing for you guys. And this one is with a Kir... Ki I'm not gonna pronounce the name, so I'm just gonna leave it alone. I'm back with a, another unboxing for a computer speaker. All right, that sounds better, cool. This one comes in a nice little box. I'll leave the link in the description at um, Amazon. It's a funny deal. I had ordered this um a day before I got it. And when I checked Amazon the very next day, it was selling for $60 less. So you know what I got to do? I have to return it and get it for the cheaper price. So it is what it is. And this comes in a nice small box, but the box is heavy. So I guess this little speaker here is going to pack a punch. We're going to find out in a few. This computer speaker comes with a Bluetooth 5.0. That's a good touch. With three EQs, I believe it's music, movie, and um, games. And I believe I read somewhere that um, the gaming um eq got the 3d surround so we'll find out in a minute when we test it out dsp and easy setup let's see this is the diagram for the back of the speakers you got the left and the right so you show where you can connect it to your pc laptop and connect some plugs here to the back of the speakers and then connect um connect it to the power supply anything else on the back okay let's see what this is right here the, the model number is kdco1 Bluetooth, for, <coughs> excuse me, 5.0, that is pretty cool. And these are some other features. 2, 10 watts, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, let me just get to the point. And also, another interesting thing. Nah, anyway. Let's open this bad boy and see what it's all about. All right. So you got like a nice tape right here. Oh, this tape is kind of, mm, okay, cool. Ah, oh, here we go. Comes a nice little booklet right here. Simple, very simple. Set up Bluetooth mode operations. Some little information right here. Oh, what's that? Hmm. Wow. You get a thirty percent, thirty percent discount. Okay. You got a Sprint um, solutions. Blah blah. Whatever that is. I'll leave that to the side for now. So we got this little thing right here. Separating the speakers. Let's, what's inside this box? Oh, okay, cool. I believe these are for connecting the to the power supply, as you can see. What's this? Oh, this is a 3.5 millimeter um, um pl plug. Awesome. I like when it's in. I like the. I like when it finishes in gold. And this is the power power brick right here. Okay, cool. That's cool. Now let's look at the speaker. It's uh, oh, the gun. Got some nice weights to it. Oh wow. The speaker got some really nice weights to it. Alright, so come in this nice little bag right here. Let's open it. Ah oh nice cold chassis. They said this is made out of aluminum. So that is pretty awesome. I think the material kind of helps with the with the acoustics. I believe that's what it is, but yeah. Very simple. I like this. It got the nice little um, cover right here to protect the speaker. Unlike this one right here in the corner, the Edify GM600, it doesn't have a cover. So you're gonna get dust and all that stuff in that thing, which I don't like. Nice um, aluminum casing, pretty awesome. And this is very simple. You got the plugs right here for the speaker. L, R, okay. So I guess this is what, I believe this is what it is for. These are for the power for the speakers, connect them left to right. But let me see how long these cords are, cause you know I'm critical about companies that give you short cords. I don't know why they love to give you those dollar, dollar store version of cords. They can at least be generous, give you a six six feet or, or 10 feet cord. This one is pretty long. I said probably about four feet, not impressive, but it is what it is. Okay, let's get back to the speaker. Okay, this one comes with the buttons right here, the volume up and down. And I think this is for the EQs and also for the for the mode settings. So for like AUGs, Bluetooth, I believe that's what it is. And I wish I could take off the chassis off of this thing. Because according to the diagram, you got you got two speakers on top. No, I mean one speaker on top and one speaker on the bottom. I think they call it like radiator speakers or whatever like that. To give um to give um nice bass sound. But We'll see about that in a second. 
All right, so let me just um, connect these bad boys up and see what, we're, see what we're into. So, like I said, the L speaker, plug in this right here, like that. And this right here. So that's what it is. Very simple speakers. And like I said, it doesn't got no RGB lights. You know, I'm a big fan of RGB lights, but sometimes less is more. So I like the sim I like the simplicity of this. Very nice aluminum casing. I like this very much. So let me go connect the power supply right here. Let me see how long this is cord for this speaker right here. Ah, uh, same thing. Probably the same four feet. So let me just plug this bad boy up. Not bad at all. That's on the here. That was from my um, GM 600, the edifier. Let me unplug the power again from this one. Let me hear if this makes any sound. Oh, that's really cool. Very simple. All right. So the blue lights is flashing. So I'm not sure if that's for Bluetooth or what. So I, 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 would, I, would, I would assume that's for Bluetooth. So, okay, so what I'm gonna do, let me just um, fire up my PC real quick and take it from there. Okay, let's see how, how easy this is to pair via Bluetooth. So let me go right here into my uh, Windows settings. Let's go into the Bluetooth and devices. All right, where are we at again? Gonna add device, Bluetooth. Let's see if it's there. It's right there. Let me zoom in so you can see. KDCO1, so that's what it's called. All right, let's click it and, hit and see what happens. Usually it shouldn't take that long to, to, to connect to Bluetooth. So let me just do something real quick. Let me just cancel this. And let's go back into Discover again. Let's try that one more time. After a little trials and error, I was finally able to get it connected to Bluetooth. And I want to make a correction. Earlier in the video, I tell you the speaker in the background was the Edifier GM600. I want to make a correction. It's the Edifier G2000. So let me clear that. The Edifier G2000. And this is a KEID. Um, computer speakers, model number KDCO1. And like I said, I'm pretty impressed with this bad boy. I wish I could take off the aluminum casing to show you, cause it have it in a diagram. You got a speaker on top and a speaker on the bottom. This is like a radiator speaker to um, give you some nice bass. I don't know. So I can't take it off to show you guys. I just have to believe them based on what they show me in the diagram. And right now I'm in um, YouTube studio or the library. This part of um, YouTube Studio, if you're a content creator, you can just go into the audio library and you can use all the tunes copyright free. So if you're gonna create, a, if you're creating a video and you want to add some music onto it, you got a bunch of mu bunch of um, music sounds from different genres and different sound effects. So if you can use them if you want and they and, you, and they're copyright free, you won't get a copyright strike. So that's one thing. So uh, I'm in the YouTube Studio audio library right now and i'm gonna um turn this bad boy on it's at i put the volume at 100 percent you got three eq modes music movie and gaming and i said the gaming mode comes on up 3d surround sound so i don't know if that's true you guys be the judge of that i'm not i'm not so big as an audio file like i used to be so for all the audio files out there who, who have a sharper ears to music let me know what you think in the comments all right, like I said, it's at one hundred percent volume, and it's in music mode. So let me go. Let me hit it right now. Ready? Let's do it. Not bad, not bad at all. It sounds pretty good. It's not bad. Nice and clear. And it's pretty cool. I give it props. So let me hear it in the next mode. Movie. 
Okay, the next mode is movie mode. Here we go. Music mode doesn't sound that bad at all either. To me, it's, I don't, like I said, I don't really hear much of a difference, but to me, they both sound all right. Last but not least, I'm gonna put it in game mode and I'm in the video right there. Game. All right, let's go in game. One, two, three. <laughs> alright it's alright I don't know how am I gonna compare it with the uh, Edifier G2000 but I think it's okay the bass it got more I definitely tell it got more bass than Edifier G2000 that's for sure but what's it what's it's like I'm not sure so in my next video I'm gonna put the two of them up together to see which one have the better sound in each category this is just a last last second thought I just realized I didn't um, put it in game mode and have a game up on the screen so you could hear it. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. Let me see. I'm not sure if it's in game mode. Let me check again. Let me see. Music. No. Movie. Game. Oh, I'm in game mode now. Let me see my volume. Let me turn my volume up to 100%. I got Forza Horizon up in the background, in, uh, game up I should say, so let me just get out on the main screen and see what's ha happened. Wow, I could hear everything. You hear that? I like the way the engine sound, the rumble, you could hear everything in the background, you could hear the birds. You really, so, you really feel like it's 3D. I feel like I could hear the birds behind me. Yo, this sounds good. Oh, crap. You hear that? The bell in the background. Yo, I guess it's, I guess it's for real. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, shucks. Dang, the birds sound so real. If it literally sound like there's a bird inside my apartment, right beside me or behind me. Yo, that's impressive. That is impressive. Oh wow. Okay, so this is this is the boy right here. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. It really helps a lot. And also, there's a new feature in the comments called Super Thanks. So if you want to support my channel, you can go to Super Thanks, hit it up, and um. Put whatever you want to put in there to show your appreciation and your support because I would really appreciate it. All right. Check you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.